What's up, friends? I am Azaz, and this is my little brother. I'm Kenyola. And which season do we feel cold? I'm ready. Do you know what in which season do we feel cold? No. I'm very small, so we might not know, but you guys would definitely know. It's not a difficult or tricky question. Of course in winter we feel cold. To deal with the cold, what do we humans do? We wear warm clothes like caps, jackets, warm socks, and even sometimes gloves. And we use hot drinks to keep our body warm. Even to keep our house warm, we use some heating system. But friends, have you ever thought what do animals do? How do they survive in cold? As they don't have warm clothes to put on. And they don't have any heating systems in their houses. And in winter, they cannot find enough food for them. Friends, different animals have different and unique physical qualities and ways to deal with the cold. Let me tell you a few of them. Amber, are you listening to me? The most interesting part is about to come. What do the animals do? Migration means migration means to move from a cold area to a warmer area. And this movement or migration can be by air, by land, or through water. Like birds migrate by air. And some fishes and sea animals migrate through water. Friends, in some areas of the world, it's so cold that the water turns into ice in winter. So, the fish have to migrate to a warmer area, otherwise they're going to freeze. Friends, animals migrate, of course, through land. They cannot fly, that's for sure. And they can also not swim. And friends, this migration can be for a short distance or for a really long distance. And Robin is a short distance migratory bird. And like humpback whale is a long distance migratory sea animal. It migrates for 50,000 kilometers away. Friends, let me tell you another physical quality that some animals and some birds use to keep themselves warm in winter. That is, some birds and animals wear a thick coat of fur or feathers to keep them warm in winter. Does that mean they didn't have any fur or feathers in summer? No, that's not the case. Actually, they had feathers and fur, but just they were thin. And in winter, they were thick to keep them warm. For arctic fox and bears get this thick layer of fur in winter. Some birds get thick feathers in winter. And let me tell you one surprising fact that they change the color of their coat. Not only they, they are thick in winter, they also change color. Like Arctic fox and bears, in summer they both 
are brown completely. When winter arrives, they turn into white like snow. This white color helps them to camouflage with the ice and helps them to sneak upon their prey or also helps them hide from the predators. Friends, the most surprising and amazing way to survive in winter is hibernation. What is hibernation? It's a really deep sleep for a long time. Haven't got the idea yet? Let me explain. Less food in winter as compared to summer. Oh, to survive in winter, some animals store food in summer for their long winter season. Like squirrels and ants. That in winter, they don't have to come out and find food. This made in their houses. They sleep. After some time, they wake up, eat the food that they have stored, and then go back to sleep. They spend the whole winter like this. But there are some animals that don't store any food. So what do they do? In summer, these animals eat a lot. They store energy in form of fat in their body. When winter arrives, they go underground or bury themselves in the mud. They hide themselves in caves, burrows, tree trunks, and then they go to sleep for the whole winter. Really deep sleep. During this time, they don't wake up and do not even eat any food. When animals hibernate, their body temperature gets low. Their heartbeat slows down to save energy. Like hedgehogs, snakes, bats, bears, and tortoises. But some fishes and insects hibernate in winter. It's time to wrap this video up. Look friends, it's not fair. <laughs> he was just completely silent in the whole video. He was just playing by himself. He didn't even bother listening to me. And now he's wrapping my video up. What is this? Really, really funny. Hope to see you next time.